Hello everyone and welcome to today's session. My name is Vikas Omar. I'm a specialist solutions architect with data and analytics team at AWS. The topic that I'm going to talk about today is an umbrella term that organizations have been using to improve business processes through use of data. Yes, it's business intelligence. And it has evolved much over the years. A lot of it I have witnessed with my own eyes in the last 10 to 12 years. Today, in this increasingly fast paced world, it is critical for companies to make data driven business decisions quickly. In order to move fast, teams need the ability to answer business questions with as much less friction and as much less delay as possible. In this session on deliver insights at scale with powerful dashboards built using Amazon QuickSight, I'm going to talk about importance of business intelligence, typical challenges with traditional BI platforms, how at AWS we are modernizing BI landscape with QuickSight for our customers. And we'll get to hear from Global Fashion Group on how they are using Amazon QuickSight to drive business outcomes for their thousands of internal and external customers. We'll look into the pace of innovation that AWS is driving with QuickSight. And finally, I'll wrap up the session by providing updates on some of the recently launched QuickSight features. You'll find a number of definitions about BI on the internet. But if I were to summarize BI in a simple statement, it's a process that puts data into perspective for making faster data-driven decisions. It's there with us since mid 1860s and is still very relevant. According to Forbes Online and New Vantage Partners Big Data Executive Survey, 85% of businesses want to be data-driven, but only 37% have been successful. And the most significant headwind businesses face is forging a data culture within their firms. As Albert Einstein, a man of incredible vision and insight also cited, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. Simply put, if you are not changing, you are not growing. If you are not growing, you are not being intelligent. Now, we all know that BI needs data for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and data has been tremendously growing over the last few years and will continue to do so. Organizations within the past few years have created more data than all of human history. The data that needs to be analyzed is also becoming increasingly complex, adding to the time needed for overall data management. Organizations increasingly strive to improve data literacy for all their employees and reduce dependence on IT and data scientists while gaining efficiency by moving to the cloud. Existing business intelligence tools can limit business users' insight into their data. They can also limit IT departments' ability to provide self-service analytics in a secure, scalable, and cost-efficient way. Organizations have stated that they need better and more modern BI in an effort to solve this problem and foster a data-driven culture. But what exactly data-driven culture means, especially in the context of BI? Let's take a look. Business intelligence is a process for organizations to gain insights from their data, and in turn, people drive it via a tool of their choice. The people who drive this process to create, collaborate, publish, consume, manage, and govern insights needs to be empowered. Data and ML needs to be democratized throughout the organization in an easy and self-service manner. From those who are well-versed with technology, to those who have sound knowledge of business, from those who can use SQL to those who can't use SQL, from those who understand underlying data model or schemas to those who don't, from those who can augment data with ML models to those who just want to get predictions or anomalies without getting into the roots of how an algorithm work. Interactive visualizations to help users understand the story the data tells. Embedded analytics to extend power of BI to your own portals, web or app properties, and take customer experience to another level. And finally, the ability to ask questions in natural language and make interaction with data easy for users who do not want to go into nitty gritties of how things are wired together in the backend. Now, before I dive into modernizing BI with QuickSight, Let's take a look at some of the typical challenges with traditional BI platforms. Over the years, we have had a number of technological advancements, including the BI paradigm. I still remember when I used to do reporting for a telco operator 12 years ago, everything was just spreadsheets. A lot of features that are basic necessity of a BI tool today 
were not even mainstream back then. So understanding these challenges will give us a good baseline of why there was a need to reinvent BI in the first place. First one is around pricing. Oftentimes, it's very restrictive to roll out BI dashboards and applications to all of your users due to pricing constraints. The licensing mechanism is either per named user basis, where it's a fixed fee per user, or by capacity that goes with the hardware running your BI platform. In both of these scenarios, you are overpaying if your users are not making full use of the resources 24 by 7. Second is scaling. Systems hosted in on-premises environment or even in a cloud platform are hard to scale. You do need to plan for maintenance and upgrades, do capacity planning, and that too for your peak traffic. Third is around integration. They don't always integrate well with all your different data sources. It's pretty common to have a mix of data sources that are on-premises and in the cloud, and you want to be able to make use of all that data on a single dashboard without having to move data to a single source. And it's not just data. Think about authentication and authorization mechanisms and the overall analytic ecosystem to deliver insights to downstream systems and users. Another one is being resource intensive. And by that, I mean the people side of things rather than referring to computer storage. And when I say people, I'm alluding towards how they spend their time dealing with these BI systems. They spend a huge chunk of time managing infra required to run these BI platforms. Add more servers, patching, upgrading, that otherwise could have been used in much more productive activities. Finally, it's the lack of advanced features like machine learning and natural language processing capabilities baked into the tool. Now that we have understood some of the challenges posed by traditional BI tools, let's look at how QuickSight is different and how it is modernizing the BI landscape. Before I dive deep into the differentiators, let me give a quick overview of what Amazon QuickSight is. Amazon QuickSight is a very fast, easy to use, cloud-powered business analytics service that makes it easy for all employees within an organization to build visualizations, perform ad hoc analysis, and quickly get business insights from their data anytime on any device. Now let me go one level down and explain how we are rethinking BI architecture from the ground up with QuickSight. First is scale. QuickSight is built with ubiquitous access in mind. As a cloud native BI solution, it's serverless. Yes, you heard it right. There are no servers or software to manage. It auto scales up and down between tens of users to thousands of users without any servers to manage and without any loss or degradation in experience for users. Furthermore, it's the only solution with pay-as-you-go pricing for readers for as low as 30 cents a session and capped at $5 monthly. Second, with QuickSight, you can easily embed interactive visualizations and dashboards, sophisticated dashboard authoring or natural language query capabilities in your applications to differentiate user experience and unlock new monetization opportunities. Third, you don't need to be an expert in machine learning to discover hidden insights from your data, perform accurate forecasting and what-if analysis, or add easy to understand natural language narratives to dashboards by leveraging AWS's expertise in machine learning. And last but not the least, QuickSight is enterprise ready. It's highly available by design, can connect to data sources on-prem or on the cloud, has in-memory calculation engine for faster response time. Being a first party native AWS solution, it's fully integrated with the rest of AWS. AWS great security, compliance, global availability, end-to-end -end encryption, centralized IAM permissions with fine-grained access control, authentication and authorization and auditing. These are the differentiations that customers say matter a lot to them as they look to modernize their BI stack. All in all, with QuickSight's ML-powered capabilities, you can curate a data-driven culture by turning data into an easily accessible organizational asset where anyone could leverage data to make quick, innovative decisions regardless of their skill sets. Like at Capital One, where they made Amazon QuickSight available internally to their BI community of over 25,000 users. Key benefits that the Capital One team sees from QuickSight include the ability to roll out 
new BI use cases without server setup or capacity planning, integrated machine learning capabilities, and the absence of a traditional software update cycle. All this is with private link connectivity to data in AWS and pay per session pricing for consumption with a maximum charge of $5 per month per reader. Now I did touch upon embedded applications and natural language processing while introducing QuickSight. Let's understand these two things a bit better. We all understand that product differentiation and innovation is a necessity for an organization to improve customer engagement and retention. Embedding analytics into your application can accelerate growth by offering a differentiated product through enabling end user to engage with compelling data-driven experiences. Embedded analytics also creates new monetization opportunities by creating value for customers from data that is typically logged within the app. Now we know that QuickSight is a scalable, embeddable, ML-powered business intelligence service that we architected for the cloud. But oftentimes, organizations do have their own portals and digital properties like their own web portals and applications. QuickSight lets you quickly embed interactive dashboards and visualizations into your applications without needing to build your own analytics capabilities. Blend analytics seamlessly into your application with QuickSight's embedded themes, which let you personalize the look and feel of your reports and dashboards. You can empower your users by embedding business analytics capability directly into your application. QuickSight embedded analytics seamlessly integrate into your application and enables your users to perform advanced analytics with capabilities such as one-time or ad hoc analysis and machine learning based insights, providing you with new ways of monetizing and differentiating your applications. Next is NLP, Natural Language Processing. QuickSight Q allows everyone in your organization to understand your data by asking questions in natural language, exploring through interactive dashboards, or automatically looking for patterns and outliers powered by machine learning. No training or preparation needed. End users can go beyond what is presented in the dashboard with Q, avoiding the typical back and forth exchanges between the end users and business intelligence teams, and the often week long wait associated with adding a new dashboard or visual. It also allows end users to more intuitively understand data without having to interpret different visualizations or understand filters or other elements in a traditional BI dashboard. For example, a sales manager can simply ask the question, what were the sales this month? To get a response from Q. To get deeper, they could follow up with, what were the sales this month by segment? Now, let's hear from head of BI and analytics at Global Fashion Group, a leading fashion and lifestyle destination in the growth market. She is leading the BI revolution at GFG, making their internal and external customers drive business value from the data. Everyone, please welcome Neha Joshi. Thank you, Vikas. It's my pleasure to be here today to share about GFG, the data challenges we were facing last year, why we made the decision to move to Amazon QuickSight, what we changed to address our challenges, some of the lessons learned along the way, the current state of our business intelligence landscape, and some of our plans moving forward. But first, a little bit about myself. I'm Neha. I'm responsible for providing value from data to GFG's internal and external customers using analytics and business intelligence. Global Fashion Group is a global business with deep local roots in the markets with diverse cultures and lifestyles. The diversity is at the heart of everything we do and give real meaning to our purpose of true self-expression. From our people to our customers and partners, we exist to empower everyone to express their true selves. In markets with low online penetration and high growth opportunity, we are setting the benchmark in online fashion and lifestyle. And our vision is to be number one online destination for fashion and lifestyle in growth markets. GFG is the leading fashion and lifestyle retail destination in Latin America, CIS, 
एस ई एंड ए एन जेड वी कनेक्ट ओवर टेन थाउजेंड ग्लोबल लोकल एंड ओन ब्रांड्स टू अ मार्केट ऑफ मोर देन वन बिलियन कस्टमर्स थ्रू फोर इस्टेब्लिश्ड ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म्स टफीटी लमोडा जलोरा एंड द आइकॉनिक थ्रू एन इंस्पायरिंग एंड सीमलेस कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस इनेबल्ड बाई अवर ओन टेक्नोलॉजी इको सिस्टम एंड ऑपरेशनल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वी आर डेडिकेटेड टू बींग नंबर वन फैशन एंड लाइफ स्टाइल डेस्टिनेशन इन अवर मार्केट्स विद सेवेंटीन ऑफिस एंड टेन फुलफिलमेंट सेंटर्स एक्रॉस फोर कॉन्टिनेंट्स जी एफ जी प्राउडली एम्प्लॉयज अ डायनेमिक एंड डाइवर्स टीम विद डीप लोकल नॉलेज एंड एक्सपर्टीज In 2021, GFG delivered more than 31 million orders to over 16 million active customers across the globe. Let me share a bit of a background on how we did embark on this journey. So, as a part of our data-driven initiatives, we have two key initiatives that are cornerstone to our data strategy for internal and external customers. One of the projects that we kicked off last year is called Data by GFG. This was our initiative to unify our data platform so our sellers across the globe can view their products performance, remove our manual reporting and increase our analytics agility. And the other one is called Global Business Intelligence. that is meant for our internal stakeholders to empower them with a comprehensive view of organization's data with quick side emerging features we enable the users to drive change to do self service analytics and ad hoc reporting with limited assistance from the data team and it was not an easy thing to do as our prior bi tool was unable to handle large volumes of data put a strain on our infrastructure team in terms of manual scaling patching upgrading and maintenance had limited visualization capabilities and provided no automation support for report sharing and distribution most of these challenges were also covered by vikas earlier during his talk we went through a poc and evaluation process with quicksight our previous tool and other leading bi products on the market based on our evaluation which was a combination of feature function cost analysis ease of use security and training and support available from aws we decided to move ahead with quicksight the interactive quicksight dashboards we created are infused with machine learning insights and are very secure to ensure sellers can only view and interact with their own brand specific data quicksight is serverless which allows us to easily scale so we can support our customer base without putting any strain on our infra team goodbye to manual scaling and maintenance next was to plan our implementation strategy that involved migrating reports and dashboards from our existing bi system and developing new capabilities without affecting business continuity we designed our implementation strategy to focus on internal and external customers separately for internal customers the focus was to establish quicksight as a self service tool so that they can make use of curated data sets or can bring their own data to create collaborate and publish reports internally our aim was to democratize the data for everyone as a function of their role in the organization so that everyone can migrate their dashboards to quicksight with little to no assistance from the data team For external customers the focus was curating localized and easy to understand dashboards with actionable business insights With Quicksights we were able to leverage our current AWS ecosystem and existing setup so that it was easy to get started The service itself is also easy to use and user friendly for business users with not so steep learning curve As an online retailer, mobile friendliness is incredibly important for us and for our users. 
The QuickSight mobile app is available on iOS and Android that gives us instant access to our data and insights to make data-driven decisions on the go. We leveraged many of the built-in features of QuickSight to pull meaningful insights out of our data. For example, using auto-narratives to provide a short summary to highlight a trend like year-on-year -year and quarter-over-quarter -quarter changes. We got creative with our dashboard designs by using overlays to combine charts with absolute growth figures and showing multiple KPIs in one go. We leveraged the UI to embed our product images along with other features like displaying best-selling products with relevant images, product description, specifications, and dollar value. And guess what? This proved to be a huge value add to our buying and merchandising teams. Finally, we leveraged Spice, the in-memory calculation engine of QuickSight that automatically syncs our large volume of data. This proved to be a huge lifesaver for managing our backend processes. But that doesn't mean we didn't come across any challenges as we got started. Given that QuickSight was new to us, we had issues replicating charts and visualizations from our previous BI tool due to the differences in how calculations were baked in the backend, as well as limited number of external resources on the internet. Fortunately, AWS has a dedicated team that supports us with regular discussions on any difficulties we might face. The type of support we have received from them has ranged from bringing our suggestions and feature requirements to the QuickSight development team, to helping us figure out alternate ways of presenting the data and visualizations in a clear and concise manner that helps internal stakeholders understand the key points needed to aid in their decision making. And now, QuickSight has a lot more resources in terms of AWS community channel, labs, tutorials, trainings that we utilize to keep ourselves aware and up to date. So with all this, where are we now? We have over 100 internal and external users using 30 plus dashboards built with over 60 plus data sets, including bring your own data type sources for one of our market. We have developed reports that put actionable insights across domains like sales, product inventory, market basket, customer, traffic, and many more. Each domain in turn has number of valuable metrics that are reported using interactive dashboarding capabilities on QuickSight. We also make use of QuickSight's ML-driven auto-narratives to make it easy for the users to understand the data that they are looking at. We embarked on this journey early last year, made a lot of progress and have established our next steps already. We are in the process of standardizing common metrics and localizing relevant metrics for each of the geo to scale it across all our markets. We also have planned to roll it progressively to thousands of our brand partners, sellers, and our internal customers. We are putting our reporting pipelines in autopilot mode and have almost retired our manual process of report sharing and distribution. We will completely sunset our existing BI tool in Q2 2022. As we move on this journey, we will make use of QuickSight's ML capabilities like forecasting and anomaly detection. We are also exploring QuickSight Q to make it easy for our users to interact and get value from the data. And the most important thing is, we will put specific programs and mechanisms into play for continuous adoption of QuickSight across GFG's internal and external stakeholders. At GFG, we are committed towards empowering our people, customers, and partners. And AWS have been a great support so far in accomplishing our mission. Thank you everyone for your patience. I'll hand it over back to Vikas now.
थैंक यू नेहा फॉर शेयरिंग विद अस दैट वॉज वेरी इंसाइटफुल एंड थैंक यू फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग अस द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वर्क विद यू लेट्स मूव अ हेड एंड लुक एट क्विक साइट स्पेस ऑफ इनोवेशन एंड सम एक्साइटिंग न्यू फीचर्स we have been innovating in bi space with quicksight at a very fast pace at aws we work backwards from our customers and more than 90% of our roadmap is driven directly by our customers we have released more than 600 features in quicksight since its initial launch in 2016 70 plus features in 2020 and 100 plus features in 2021 alone that is more than a feature a week and we'll continue this momentum in time to come Apart from this the releases are done twice a month with no customer involvement thanks to the serverless nature of quicksight we launched 100 over features in 2021 some of them are listed here while we do not have time to cover all those i do want to discuss a few key ones like free form layout that provide authors with precise pixel level control over the size and placement of visual elements on quicksight dashboards including support for overlapping content custom email reports that supports the ability to send custom branded email reports from quicksight spice capacity that has been upgraded from 250 million rows and 500 gb of data to 500 million rows and 500 gb of data um, spice is super fast in memory calculation engine of quicksight another one on spice is the incremental refresh that supports incrementally loading new data two spice data sets without needing to refresh the full set of data one click embedding that lets you copy the embed code from quicksight and paste it in your internal applications html code you don't have to run the quicksight embedding api to generate the embed code data set versioning which allows data set owners to understand historical changes within a data set preview a specific version or revert back to a previous version if needed I've already covered QuickSight queue earlier but just wanted to cover that you can embed queue in your own application as well. This will revolutionize the way user interacts with data in your applications. Here are some useful resources that will help you learn more about QuickSight. Experience what it's like with demos and hands-on workshops. I've also provided the link to QuickSight community portal which is a great way to engage with wider QuickSight community. learn and keep yourself up to date with what's new in quicksight to explore more we encourage you to get engaged with our training and certification content today skill builder is our online learning center that makes it easier for anyone from beginners to experienced professionals to build aws cloud skills we offer 500 plus free digital courses that can help you and your team build new cloud skills and learn about the latest services when and where it's convenient in up to 16 languages scan one or both of the qr codes on the screen to get started with your cloud skills training and certification i hope you enjoyed the session today i look forward to seeing how you use quicksight and build a data driven culture with the bips at your own organization reach out to aws if you want to discuss more remember to complete the survey to let us know what you think and how can we improve the event experience with that thank you for joining me today my name is vikas omar enjoy the rest of the sessions